Hello there and welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I wanted to show you the good old point and click movement which you maybe have seen in some really cool uh, well, games like uh, Diablo 1, 2 and I guess the, the more uh, current one which is Diablo 3 and 4 and I guess Path of Exile and how they're all called. So this is kind of the same system which they are using and very very quickly and very easy to implement in Game Maker Studio. So stay tuned. This is one of Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Office Orc and Clunky Soul. So if you like what you're seeing, consider subscribing and helping out this little channel by liking, commenting and sharing. That would be neat of you. So the YouTube algorithm says like, hey, that stuff is actually relevant. That would be pretty sweet. So let's go right into the good stuff. So what you're seeing in front of you is the isometric view which is a relic of the past, so if you're just wondering how that looks like in the tile set, completely garbage in my opinion. <laughs> it's really difficult to implement and you have to be extremely precise, so eh, not the biggest fan of that. But of course there are a few games which still utilize this isometric view. So this is a throwback to the very past because this stuff was uh, relevant then. But let's kick that out, Let, let's make it a little bit more interesting and well, focus on the thing which we actually want. So let's create our object player, kill that one which we have in here, put this dude now inside and give it a sprite. So bam. So the first thing which you maybe want to do is just have a mouse follow. And that can actually be done very, very quickly and easily with a function which is called move towards point. And that thing needs to input parameters, which are your mouse, because well, we are using our mouse, mouse, and then you need to put in the speed, I don't know, let's go for one as a value. And what you will be seeing now is, and this is a great, great thing, for example, for homing. So as you can see, my mouse is changing position and then the do do that, whatever that naked thing is, is trying to catch up and get to the point and of course the speed is too slow so therefore it is trying to reach it and of course if you are well if it reaches the point it will do this uh, triggery thing which doesn't look too good so we have that but of course we want to have a little bit more control and therefore we just say hey if check mouse button released and then we only want to go to a specific direction when we are uh, well we press our right mouse button. And for example, one thing which you need to understand about move towards point is that it does three things. First of all, it changes your direction, your speed, and then it will go in forever. For example, if you press it once, then this do do that will go forever in one direction, which maybe we don't want to do. And therefore we need to cancel this kind of movement. And that is being achieved by, and here, uh, I need to implement two other things which you uh, want to have as well, two variables. Why do I do this? Because well, they will make sense in a few seconds. So I have two variables which are called target X and Y and these are the things which are once set up and saved, uh, for example, once you press your mouse button because that thing is just getting updated once, once you release your mouse button and this is it. And what kind of values do, do we want to give it? Well, the mouse X and Y at this very specific point when you released your mouse button. And this is the cool, cool part. Basically, it's not really changing anything for now, but as you can see, it already is pretty good. So what can we actually do with this? So first of all, we can well, draw a few things. So it does look better. So first of all, we draw ourselves. There we go. Then we want to draw a circle. Let's go for. Uh, and what do we want to have? Well, our target X and Y where it is. So basically we are just checking out, hey, radius, let's say for five, let's make it really fat and zero. So what we want to see is where we are going. And this is the thing which you see in Diablo. This is 
where I guess where they will create an object and then um, as a marker where you are going. So this is the great part, but still we haven't uh, well fixed the point where it is stopping. And this is a thing which we here I will go quickly in there. So basically it's changing the speed and the direction. And for example, once we start it again, just one second, so you understand what's actually going on. So for example, our speed and our direction are zero as a default value. But once we uh, initialize, uh, change it, uh, use the move towards point function, then it will uh, update the direction, which is the up one and the speed, which is here. So how can we actually stop him moving well easy we just do and change the speed value which is being updated on this point and how can we do this well let's make it very very quick i just copy paste that so we don't waste too much time we just say point distance from our current y and x and y and to our target and if it's smaller five why don't i just do hey is the x the same as the target x and the y as the target y. I tried it, it doesn't really work. So here, uh, as a failsafe, you say, hey, if you are, let's say, smaller than five of a distance between those two, uh, well, of this, between this point and this point, then reset the speed to zero. So let's check it out. And as you can see, it updated the direction but as you can see the speed is zero now so let's go here speed is one and speed is zero and now this is how the movement works and of course well collisions are still not in there so you can basically walk on water you you do the jesus thing or whatever so you can do everything but now you understand how the system works and then it will try to catch up a little thing for the animation this is a thing which i'm gonna go very very quickly into because this is very specific but let's say um, you uh, want to apply four different sprites or even more then you can actually orientate yourself hey what kind of direction am i having am i, be am I bigger than zero and smaller than 90 hey cool then go upright if not do this do that and for example once we start it again then you will see then well the sprite is being updated to the specific one. It looks a little clunky, but in the good old uh, <laughs> games of the past, this was the same. So hopefully that was of interest to you. And now you understand the good old Diablo 1 and 2 style from 1907 uh, and 2000, the movement speed, which is not too difficult in, uh, well, as a principle because here you can just hey move towards and then reset it and say hey speed zero don't move at all you you reached your place and here what you would be doing is besides that you would be having an extra check for collisions but that is not part of the basics tutorial because this is the easy busy stuff so hopefully you enjoyed this and see you next time have a good one one up indeed